The Lost Cryptids Conservatory, where we will shatter your reality to bring you closer to the truth. Today, looking and scouting around, trying to find some evidence of Sasquatch, see if anything happens. I'm actually going to go check on some tree structures. Uh, it's definitely been a while. I believe it's somewhere over here. Anyways, we'll uh, take a walk through these woods and hopefully find something. Interesting how they grew like that. All right, I'll go back to this other area. Couldn't find that tree structure. Could be several hundred, could be a hundred yards in either, either direction. It's pretty interesting. Could have fell naturally, but it is on this other side. It's pretty, it's pretty narrow up against the tree. So for it to fall, be pretty hard to do. It's very interesting. This looks natural again because the whole log fell and butted it up. So not everything is uh, Bigfoot, and you can even tell. You can tell this fell right here. You can see the scrapage of where it scraped the tree when it did fall. So, this is 100% natural. 100% natural. This. This was put here. Because that's the bottom end. And... You guys see that there's no uh, broken ends up that way that match it. Um, this is a different tree. It's interesting because uh, the bottom is our top. It was broken. You see the fiber is broken. But uh, it's kind of interesting. I don't see where it would have fell out of the trees or any stump. Plus, bottom end is up here. Along the swamp edge. Tree creaking. Mm -hmm. I only do. I only use low whoops to uh, let them know I'm in the area. Um, it's worked. Personally, in the past, it's not call blasting. But you are shooting the whoop. Um, so, you know, I would say 200 yards in all directions can hear it. Uh, 
And you don't want to do anything beyond that. We don't want to call blast the whole uh, area. You know, 200 yards uh, radius is what we're trying for. What's that up there? Looks like a tire. <clears throat> Definitely a tire. It's only on the one side. There's no uh, tree, tree blind up in there. Yeah, that's a, looks like a tire. Okay, you got a hex structure up here. Let's go check it out. Probably nothing. The tree came from there and set it up for a nice. Yeah, that's the top of the tree. Natural. So basically, what happened is it fell and knocked the top of these other trees and busted it and fell into place. Looks like I'm gonna get poison ivy or poison oak. That's poison ivy right there. Got all those hairs on the vine, hairy vine. Uh, poison oak that was all in the over there. I could feel it. You get it enough times, you can feel you can feel it. So what I should do is uh, yeah, some dirt or some dry enough wood. <clears throat> Cover the, the place with dirt. Pine sap works best. Cover it up and help uh, soak up the area. It just helps. Pine sap actually works the best because it covers it and it sucks out the, uh, the oils and it stops it from moss uh, spreading. Uh, it can't get uh, <clears throat> underneath the pine sap that's on the skin and also covers up the blisters that are. Forming, so it's a uh, little trick for you guys. See, now that one's a little bit more interesting because uh, the base of it's up in uh, the air, and that looks like to be a standing, lone standing tree that not, did not come off some other tree. See, all these are standing, so that one uh, already piques my interest. Because I look at it and it's like, okay, this doesn't scream nature, so let's investigate further so we can tell. Okay, so. That possibly came from right there, but I'm not quite sure how. Standing, sticking in there. Okay, so I was completely wrong. That's not even. Yeah, see, this is very interesting. It's... Okay, so that's the bottom end of a tree, right? So there should be a stump right here that we can find. That is the top end of the tree. That is the bottom end. Uh, that piece is right there. This piece is right here. 
Um, the whole top of this is right there. So it's... Um, this one's just stuck in there. Holy crap. It's right on the edge of a swamp. Um, bear, it's uh, the border of a swamp. Very, very interesting. So we're gonna mark this spot. I think it's uh, it's legit. I can't find the trunk of the tree, the base of it. It's not right here. You know, uh, all this is accounted for. It didn't fall from up there because it's a lone standing tree, like uh, like this one. So, looking up there, that is way too wide to be that one. It looks to be broken off. Uh, that is its own tree right there. So, where did that come from? Very interesting. I would say where they crest together, I would say that is eight feet, nine feet, eight feet, it's eight foot right there. 